Today, we're gonna to start to learn to jump. Are you ready, riders? Riders, welcome back to Sam's Bikes, where you know we only talk e-bikes, and today, we're gonna to learn to jump, or start learning to jump. And we have Aman here, the absolute legend student. Thanks for your time. No Are you ready to um, jump? Yes, I think so. Perfect. And we have two secret weapons. The first secret weapon is a ramp from MTB Hoppers. And the second secret weapon is Jump Stats, a new feature on Specialized Mission Control. And this is awesome for learning to jump because in this new feature, it will tell you how many times you jump on that ride, how long you jump, and how far you jump, which I really think is gonna help someone learning to jump to push that little bit further every time they go out. And let's thank the sponsors, Schwabi, making amazing electric mountain bike tires, Insta360, the smallest action camera on the market, and Quadlock, your smartphone holder cradle solution for your e-bikes and mountain bikes in your home office, your car, pretty much everything. So, okay, so starting off with the seven steps. The first step is body position. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do this as we practice today, but more or less, it's kind of like race position. You know, when you're going down a hill, mm -hmm. you're kind of in that uh, like ready position. So your knees are bent, your arms are, are, are firm, and you have a little bend in your arms. And the second step is preloading the bike. And it's very similar to when you jump. You know, if I wanna go down and jump high, I'll bend my knees and go down and then jump. Mm -hmm. And it's that's preloading. So you wanna, you wanna go down before you hit the jump and push down on your bike. Because it's a full suspended bike, you'll preload the suspension. And as you hit the lip, it will give you an extra boost. Mm -hmm. The third step, and I see so many riders get this wrong, is you pull up too quickly. Like you've got a lip. Uh, you want to go with the lip. You don't want to pull too soon. Like people, riders get excited or nervous and they preload the bike, they're going the right speed, but they actually pull before the lip uh, actually takes off. So what you're doing is a bunny hop. Mm -hmm. so you're never going to jump well if you're doing a bunny hop. So you want to wait and you feel the bike going up. And the fourth step is landing. And again, I see so many riders get this wrong. When they're in the air, I see them wanting to push the bike down already, like maybe they're getting nervous, they want the bike to get on the ground. But this makes a really harsh landing. So when you're in the air, you should be, like your body should be pretty much extended, like so, not straight legs, but <laughs> bent a little bit. Mm -hmm. And when you land, you have 150 and 160 mils of suspension on the Levo Gen 3. So you're not gonna run out of suspension. So when you land, you'll feel it land, the bike will land, the suspension will start compressing, and you just wanna go down with it. You just wanna like go into a squat. Exactly the same is when you jump, you bend your knees and come back down. Mm -hmm. So it's like taking the absorption out. Mm -hmm. And the fifth step is speed. And we're gonna gradually build this up as you get more confident. But I would say let's start off around 15 Ks an hour. Let's get you feeling confident on that jump mm -hmm. and let's build it up. Number six is confidence and reflection. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? So confidence, when you're hitting that jump, try and hit it with confidence because you know we're here, you're fully padded up, you can't hurt yourself, you know, and, and if, you, if you don't have confidence when you're doing that, your body's gonna stiffen up, mm -hmm. you're not gonna be relaxed. And the second part to that is reflection and visualization. We have a loop here and it's playing like that. When you finish your jump, reflect on it. When you're riding back up the hill, think about what you did wrong, think about what you could do better. And the seventh and last step is practice, practice, practice. When I was a kid, I learned to jump on a BMX and it's a pretty hard thing to learn to do. So it's definitely not gonna happen overnight, but we're gonna slowly progress and keep on practicing. And I reckon that app, every time you go for a ride, you go, oh, I did like a two meter jump. And then the next ride you did a three meter jump. We're definitely not gonna progress to six meters overnight, mm -hmm. but it will happen. So now let's see what we're working with first and then we'll get into it. All right, man, let's do it. <laughs> All right, man. Good work. Good work. How far did you jump? 1.3 meters. 1.3 meters. 
All right, so I reckon by the end of this, we're gonna be jumping two, two and a half, three meters. Look, your body's moving. Uh, it's way too early, early. Too way early. too early. See? <laughs> you know, right, it's, a lot of my videos are planned and scripted, and this one is as well, but teaching someone to jump is actually quite a hard thing. And Haman just asked me, we've done the slow motion, and we've watched and we've seen that he is doing exactly what I said a lot of people do. He's moving his weight here, and he asked me, where do you move the weight? So we're in the preload mode, and you know, a lot of people are releasing here, but we wait, we wait, and we wait. When we get to the top, so the front wheel's right here, you'll feel the bike. And what you wanna do is you just wanna go with it and let go of the preload. It's not a big pull, it's not a bunny hop. It's a natural feeling, and you just, you basically just go up with it. I'm starting to move my arms just as I hit the ramp. Not my arms, my head is going up. You see how my body's like, I'm in the squat mm. and then I'm going up and then my legs are completely straight. And when I land, I go down mm. and all the way down. And Haman just asked a question. He said, why am I going like, why am I going off to the left or the right? It's basically you're going off, you're taking off on a little bit of an angle so you don't have the same pressure on both sides. So you're taking off on an angle, mm -hmm. and then once you're on an angle, unless you have a lot of experience jumping, you can't correct that. So then you go into what we call a dead sailor. So you're sailing and you're going off, and you can't do anything, and like you kind of you're hoping to land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as I said, I think we should slow it down a little bit more, mm -hmm. and let's try and get that whole movement right. Okay, it's pretty much like a one movement. You're down you're up and then you're down again. Visualize it, compressing and release. Yeah. It's all about compression. It's not about speed and it's all about getting the uh, movement of the body. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, it's like learning anything like surfing. It's like you miss that wave a hundred times and then you catch it and then you go, ah, that's how it works. Yeah. We're getting towards the end of the session. One thing I want to mention to you riders and Haman, I wouldn't be practicing for more than like an hour and a half because you end up spending a bit too much time in your head and where you need to visualize, you need to think it, you also need to be in the moment of it. Mm -hmm. And if you start overthinking stuff, mm -hmm. it makes it harder. So let's do a few more jumps mm -hmm. and let's see how far you can jump. Let's put everything in practice. We've got three more. Let's see if you can jump three meters. Three meters. Three meters? Yeah. Okay, that was an hour and a half, just 40 degrees out here. Haman, well done. You did a great job. Thank you. How did you find it? Um, I really appreciate your, your coaching, um, honestly. Um, it's like, um, I, I felt that you are really, you are really were in my shoes. Yeah. So you know the mistakes. With yeah, the yeah. Enemy, and uh, you explain me in um, soft words, in, in um, human words, okay, not yeah. in theoretical words. Yeah. And uh, I try to get your, your advices. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's something that, you know, it's definitely not going to happen overnight. We jumped, well, you jumped 3.2 meters, which is pretty damn good. Great work Thank from, you. so we almost doubled, or we more than doubled your first effort, which mm -hmm. is great. Mm -hmm. um, how did you find the ramp? How did you find the application? Well, ramp, really helpful, honestly. Um, uh, it's really it's really comfortable because you can put it whatever you want to practice you if you have a um, safety spot like this one you yeah. just put it and jump and the application um really impressed um i didn't realize i didn't know that um, there were a kind of statistics statistics like, like that you available know? yeah available. i mean it's just come out uh mm -hmm. you know i'm i'm gonna set mine up and mm -hmm. but i think it's i mean it's good for me uh, but I can jump. I really think it's something good for someone learning to jump because 
just going to be able to every time, every time you go out, you're going to go, okay, I did, you know, three and a half meters, which is really mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm. And riders, I hope you learned something as well. If you have any questions on that jumping or you want to send me a slow motion video, more than happy to help out. And we're going to go watch the World Cup. You guys should too. And stay safe out there. And we're going to see you next week. And don't forget to subscribe. Ha, 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 ha.